I'm Rick with Shooter1721, host of Jaeger TV. And I am uh, Outdoor American, owner of Smitty's Beard Sauce. We want to take you on a hunt. We want to take you on a couple hunts is what we're thinking of doing. I think we're going to we're gonna go to some state game lands and see what we can find there. We're going to see if uh, we can find some squirrels, okay. small game hunting. We're thinking about going and uh, pesting. Okay. And how about some, what do you think, some pigeons, starlings, English house sparrows? Let's do it. All right, and Let's then... I know, hold on. Yeah, hold on. yeah. So then we want to go look for the Pennsylvania grizzly bears. The Pennsylvania grizzly bear. I don't know if I've ever seen Never one. Never seen one? I don't think so. Well, here in PA, we call them, uh, they're actually groundhogs, is what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there's some big ones out there, just so you know. I don't know how big, but, it, you know, they're pretty big. I got you. And then we're going to go to another location. I think we'll go look at, uh, we got a, a different place to go squirrel hunting, depending on how we do on the state game lands. Okay. So basically we're taking you where we don't know right. what's out there to places where we do know. And then at the end, we'll go to a, a, a range that we do know and place to hunt squirrels. At the end, we'll, at the end of the day, we'll end up there. So we'll probably end up going to four locations. So, so if I don't not, come back, you know where I'm at. Yeah, listen, if you guys, you wanna put GPS on him, you know, <laughs> cause he's gonna be all over Conestoga, Lancaster County. I know. Is your first time in PA? It is. First time. All right. Sounds yep, good. Four. So Ryan is basically up this thing, up this wrong stuff. This is up in that this hill. Is, yeah, this is kind of where it starts. <laughs> the mountain go to. Let's do it. Boy, that's a heck of a shot. Holy cow. Yeah, we're not shooting that. No. No. I mean... What is this one for? Yeah, they got everything they need here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't know why. Yeah, normally they're tearing up Jack. You can hear them bouncing along the ground. Yeah. It's a perfect morning, too. Mm -hmm. So we got there, introduced me to the Dreamline FX, right? And uh, of course it's a, it's a sexy weapon. I had, I had, I had no clue what to expect. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, it just, uh, Rick is so full of knowledge, I'm just trying to take it all in and try not to break anything, right? <laughs> and uh, so I just, I, I just want to get behind it and I just, you know, want to see what it's all about. Of course, I love to hunt. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was just anxious to get out there. As much as I wanted to learn about the weapon, I wanted to hunt as well. Yeah. Uh, so it was just really exciting. I was just anxious to, to get out there. And when we were out on state game lands there and, and we were hunting, uh, of course, I think every squirrel out there pretty much went, Hey, you see that dude over there? Yep. What, what were we, a thousand yards out? No, I, it was unreal. Yeah, I think the squirrels all knew what the heck was going on. They knew that uh, that uh, Shooter 1721 was in the woods with Smitty here, and they were kind of like, you know what? We're just going to stay in our trees today. We're not coming out and making ourselves known. We did see a bunch of squirrels, but they were at distance, and they were running the opposite direction. Right. Is that true story? That is true. Normally when I hunt, you know, I'm, I, if I shoot with a bow or I'm in a tree stand, <laughs> yeah. there's nothing but squirrels. You probably know what I'm talking yeah. about. I, I, am, I, I want to apologize because we did not bring our bow and our tree stand to sit there. Yep. Because we know if we put a, a tree stand and a bow there, we would have saw 500 squirrels. Nothing but squirrels. Yeah, that, that's my bad. I should have brought our decoys. <laughs> so... After the state game lands, we're like, you know what? Let's go pesting. Let's yep. go over to the farm. It's over in uh, in Mountainville area, and we, we thought, you know what? We're going to go over there and go pesting. But what we decided to do is take, um, you know, we had some fox over there, and we took two 30 cows with us. We took the Crown, FX Crown 30, and we took the new Jefferson State Raptor 30. We took them both over there for some testing, and uh, we actually went in and, and – of course, we took the Dreamline in Zabroya and Smitty. How'd you do with the Dreamline over there? What what happened at the farm? And you're gonna want to give it. You're probably gonna want to give it um, about a full mill. Do you understand? So you got your crosshairs come down a half mesh, come down another one to the first full one, and then pull the wind so it's gonna shoot to the left. Hit. Yeah, it hit. Did you hear it? I did. But, but I don't know where. 
Boy, they, they caught on to that quick, didn't they? Like that's not a normal pigeon sound. No, did you hear that? Yeah, oh no, no, no. Yeah, no. you can hear the... Yeah, but I don't know. It might have been right here. Ah. I think that's where it was. Right there. Give you, I give you ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah, because this scope is, is, yeah, pretty badass. So I've got to find that side picture. They're coming back. Just These starlings are coming. Ryan, we might get some action here. Right. Starling up on top of that side. That's a tough shot. Give him a little for wind. Okay. To the right of him. Oh, nice head. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. He's dead. Trust me, he went down. How far do you think that is? That's 77 yards. We know exactly. Oh, okay. That's 77. That's a good shot on a star nice. at 77. Looks further, doesn't it? It does. It does. It's 77. We lasered it. I like it. Yeah. Man. Might be able to go what to the What do you think of the accuracy of these? <laughs> Come on, crazy. man. That's 77 Come yards. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you awesome. hear him, though? You see the meat flying? Oh, yeah. Him? Oh, man. Well, this morning we went out and uh, we were out squirrel hunting with the Dreamline and Zabroya Kozak FC. And uh, we uh, learned how light the trigger is on the Zabroya there on a the squirrel. I pulled a little early on that dude, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> that was all right. <laughs> we like, did. It's all, it's all you. <laughs> <laughs> we did see... Uh, <laughs> We did see some squirrels, but we didn't, we didn't have any uh, shots at all this morning, but we had a ton of fun talking and shooting. But now we're over at, uh, we're over at uh, Jaeger TV Farm here, and we're uh, nailing English house sparrows and starlings and pigeons. We're nailing all kinds of stuff, so. See, we were getting the outside glare in the back of the scope. Yeah, I was thought that was just me. directly at them, you would have to, you'd have to stay low and actually go on this side, get right to the corner of like where the silo is, and shoot in and try and hit them. Will they fly at you? They might. Yeah. They might. Because there's only one way out. Right. Matter if they're smart enough, they might try and get out, you know, come over here. But... Fly through these windows or something? Yeah. Oh, they're definitely not in there. Because they're getting, they're getting used to, uh, they're really getting used to us coming this way in this way right. and then posting up here and shooting so that's why they over there yeah fly directly out the, the other thing we could do i mean we could we could totally just set up back in that corner and wait till they come in they come in just sit right on the rafters and then they're like 10 feet in front of you hell it takes them an hour i know they're uh definitely not dumb but they're yeah you know, when I, when I first uh, walked in there, and I, just, I saw birds, you know, and I thought, you know, how, how, how much damage could the round do, you know? And uh, the, little, the little Hades JSB pellets, you know, the, uh, when it hits that bird and all you see is a plume of feathers, 
There's nothing yeah. like it. Hey, you get goosebumps talking about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was I was on the other side of the barn. You can't uh, with the dining FL on there. You can't hear the the gun going off, so you can't hear it. But I'm hearing, and I'm like, oh. That one didn't make it. You know, I can't see him because I'm on the other side with the 30s. I'm dialing the 30s in, but they're over. Ryan and uh, Schmidt are on the other side, and I hear these just cracks. Yeah. And were they moving? Like, when you hit them, were they, were they toasting them? Or? Uh, there wasn't much left. Yeah, I was going to say. Wasn't I, much left. Yeah. And just so everybody knows, English House Sparrow is just this little bird, yeah. you know. So, and some of those shots, they were probably, they weren't super far. They are probably, what, f- 20, 30, 40 yards. Yeah, so maybe like at the top, the peak of oh, the barn uh, there. Oh, that's the right. There. The peak might have been a 50-plus yeah. yard shot, but, yeah. And it's still, you know, I, all we saw was feathers. So. Yeah. You, you know, normally getting behind a rifle that you're comfortable with, you know, some things just aren't aren't that complicated because you're used to everything you're looking at. Right, right. Uh, to, to look at a new weapon and uh, try to adjust you know, compensate for anything that may be different. Uh, that's a challenge alone. And then the distance, the angle, a smaller object, mm-hmm. uh, but the weapon spoke for itself. Uh, dead shot, one yeah. shot. Yeah, he made both shots off the top of the silo, and I was like, look at this guy coming on here, and I'm thinking, I think I might have the new co-host we're trying to get him. We're trying to get him to move to PA, but it's not working out so well right now. So. I'm liking Tennessee. <laughs> okay, I got it. I like Tennessee, there too, just so you there know. You okay. We went to a paintball field. That is right. We went to Ambush Paintball. Ambush Paintball. In Conestoga, PA. Conestoga. <laughs> he, I know. He's like, Conestoga. And uh, when we got to the paintball field, we had talked with the owner and uh, just got, you know, got to know a little bit about the paintball field. But they uh, they have a, a problem there. They have Pennsylvania grizzly bears running around in their in their trailer field. So we spent some time looking for PA grizzly bears. Did, did you see one? I did. Uh-oh. It, Shoot. Yep. Exciting. <laughs> I, I, you know, and the the, the 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 minute it pops in, it pops out. Yeah. And, you know, again, I'm 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 new to the the, the, the firearm I'm using. Um, and and the thing is, you don't know the capability of this weapon yet, right? So, uh, you know, I'm cautious. I don't know the area. You know, I've I've got these guys that are directing me. You know where to go. And then this thing comes out, and it, as soon as it's out, it's gone. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, and I thought maybe you were going to take a shot as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I I saw it, and I was like, there was we had this small window to make this shot, but I got to admit, when when this guy was uh, running, yeah. when we saw that big one running, tell me he didn't have the fat rolls when he ran. It looks like it went up to his head and yep. came back up to his head. He was probably a twenty pound plus groundhog we saw running, yep. and we were like, holy cow, that's a big hog. We call them hogs. Everybody's like, hog? Well, wait, is that a hog hog? No. <laughs> it's groundhog. Here in, here in PA in Conestoga, we call them hogs or, you know, PA grizzly bear. But uh, we did see a couple. Did. And uh, we were using, now, we switched up. We went from the 22 cal to the FX Crown 30, and we also used the uh, Raptor 30, Jefferson State Air it's Rifle, the Raptor anymore. 30. So we had both of them along. Yep. You did get to shoot the, the Crown 30. We didn't really talk about the, the farm. We were shooting about 140 yards. And what did you think of the accuracy of the Crown and Raptor at one? It was like 140, I yeah. think. Yeah, so I was really impressed. And uh, especially when you set up that pan. Yeah. You know, and I saw how that round mushroomed. Uh, yeah. You know, because my, my background, I like to hunt. Uh, not by profession. You know, it's, it's not what I do uh, 100% of the time. But... You know, as, as a powder burner, you get introduced to something that has the power, mm-hmm. uh, the velocity, and then the, the impact that that thing makes. It was incredible. It's incredible. It so like so it. at 140, we actually had like a high-density uh, aluminum pan, but it was probably a little over an eighth inch thick, and we had pass-throughs. And we had multiple shots in the same hole at 140. We were using both rifles multiple times. Right. But in the wind, we were we, now we're in a complete open field. You're shooting 140 with a nice 15 mile an hour wind coming across from left to right, and it, it all you had to do is do your hold, and the math was the rest of it was correct. So, yeah. that's really cool that you got to shoot the Crown 30 also because that and the Raptor, got to see the power. Oh yeah, plenty of power there. Definitely impressive.
doing this. I keep going to make a run like cross. Oh, he he really pied that corner and like just. You gotta give him some credit on that. God, I was just like, ah. yeah. Schmidt's gonna have to come back for round two. Jeez. Listen, you come back for round two, we'll be set up for coyotes and everything. Oh man, right that's what we're doing next time. So, okay. In the making of this video, no PA grizzly bears were harmed. No. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Very unfortunately. <laughs> so we were like, you know what? I, let me make that, you know, I wanted to make that one call. And, of course, that was all part of the plan at the beginning of the day. And and uh, so I called the range owner, the mysterious range owner, gave him a call. And, and I said to him, um, would it be possible to come and, and do some uh, tree rat hunting? He's like, sure, yeah, come on. And I'll tell you what, we got there, that's when all heck broke loose. Game on. It was game on, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Get right. Oh, it's game over. Yep. Nice shot. Let me see if it turns around. There you go. Yeah. Straight past. Through. Zabroya. Lost him on this tree. Okay, come over here. Nice. Nice shot. Nice. He's still hanging on. Dude. I had I had this Dude. much. Dude. Dude, nice shot. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, come on, come man. man. <laughs> I had this, like I was seeing both trees. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Holy smokes. Did you hear that hit? Wow. Where'd the other one jump into the other tree? Yeah. yeah he, he was like, yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> you, you did excellent, man. Uh, some it. of the shooting and shots you made through the windows. He, Schmitty made some shots that were in windows that looked to be about two to three inches. And what I mean by that, branch, 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 head shot. I mean, some of them were or tight windows yeah. and it Schmitty had to make these offhand so he was shooter 17 21 style offhand and everything i don't think any of your shots were truly propped in any way no. i don't remember i mean we had a couple shots where we might have but a lot of your kill shots that i saw of course i didn't see everyone because i was on the other side too and we were looking he made he made one head shot that was just incredible well, you know, I got to give credit to the to the weapon itself. I got you. You know that yep. thing. Uh, you know, I can I can do everything I can do, but without without the performance of this gun, you know, or, or multiple guns we did use, uh, it, it wouldn't have happened. You know. Yeah, that dreamline was pretty oh, smooth. That thing Very is smooth. sexy, I tell you. You like Schmidt? You like the traditional stock, right? So this is a dreamline with a walnut stock, guys. So you'll see it in the video. But yeah. That walnut stock's just yeah, and that's nice. I know. This is Rick. This is Smitty with Jaeger TV. Thanks for watching. Nice shot. Holy cow. Nice. Holy cow. Now you're right. Uh, you know where I shot? In front of his tail. <laughs>